Greetings, I am the captain, and I'm here to play some blues for you with a new pedal from Electro Harmonics called Turnip Greens. This is actually really just two pedals in one, so it's not that new, but it's a great concept because it's two pedals you'd absolutely want to use. It's the now legendary, albeit not that old, Soul Food, which is their very, very kind of transparent kind of drive tone. Um, there was a great video when this came out comparing it to the Clon Centaur that uh, Gear Man Dude did, and uh, it, it came up absolutely trumps for a pedal that was only like £49 or something. And then on the flip side of this is the Holy Grail Max, which is again one of the best selling pedals in their range and is a great uh, reverb, a really, really natural sounding reverb. And the idea is with this pedal, if you've got an amplifier that basically like a low wattage, clean-ish sounding sort of vintage tube amplifier that has no reverb in it. Um, this is a great pedal to go in front of it. it. Doesn't require an effects loop or anything like that. You just basically plug it in and go. So if your amp sounds a bit, this is, this is I've set this little amp up here to basically just be completely dry. Uh, the EQ's flat. <laughs> It's a nice sound, but I would want a little bit more. So um, the first thing that I suppose the easiest bit to demo on this is just by adding some reverb. I've, I've got four choices of reverb, spring, hall, plate, and reversed. And because I'm going into the front of the amplifier, I've got the blend pretty low, because otherwise it gets a bit washy. <laughs> Could turn that up a little bit, get a perhaps go to a hall setting if I want a bit more of an epic kind of reverb. They've got some plate reverbs if I want a slightly more sort of studio feel. even reversed reverbs, which I'm not sure how you'd use that, but. The soul food, as I said, it's that transparent kind of um, mystical tone that, that, that one of the reasons the Clon Centaurs, the old ones, change hands for so much money is so many pro players use these pedals and it's, they don't even really use it for the, for the drive control on it. They've all got this, it just does something to the output um, uh, the volume on the pedal just does something to a good tube amplifier. So here, here's without. And then I just want a bit of sparkle and I might go. If I drive the volume a little bit more in here, the amp will get a bit more spiky, but it'll also just drive the amp's natural tone a bit more. I've got a tone control, I can back a little bit of the treble down if it's getting a bit fierce. conventionally like a drive control so if I bring a little bit of the drive in now If I really put the drive in, uh, again, it's still a very transparent sounding kind of pedal. It's not a rock metal. And what I 
love about this, of course, you, you guys might have seen the, the video I did on this Strat. This has got the, the, the Fender mid boost used in the Clapton uh, Strat in it. So all of a sudden I'm into this just beautifully open, bluesy kind of sounding. <laughs> If I just remind you what this sounded like when we started, this is what it sounded like. So we've gone from that really, really clean, plain kind of tone uh, that you can get out of loads of other kind of tube, you know, sort of little tube amplifiers to that, you know, lush, plenty of reverb, just. monster of a little pedal highly recommended love this if you play the blues or you just want something to give some life to your little tube amplifier that you might have at home probably not the sort of pedal you'd use with a solid state amplifier unlikely to have that same interaction um, but this is the turnip greens from EHX it's about 160 pounds available to buy from and tons now I'll put a link in the description below if you want to find out more it comes with the power supply I love it Apologies if this seems a bit disjointed because I forgot to tell you something about the turnip greens So I'm sort of doing this after we've done something else and now I'm back again But there's a kind of a weird switch on the front of the of the um, the pedal here uh, And what it does is it switches the order of the pedals now proper guitar pedal theory if such a thing existed would be that drive comes first and reverb comes second so that you get the reverb on the drive tone rather than flipping it around the other way where you would get the drive on the reverb tone. However, if you want to experiment, Electro Harmonics have, get, have put a switch on here, which does essentially put the reverb first. Um, so you're gonna get this kind of, a, maybe a bit weird, sort of slightly distorted, don't know what kind of music this will work for, I don't know, maybe like surfy kind of stuff. <laughs> quite mushy but if that's your kind of bag so this is this is it the other way around so this is uh, drive first then reverb <laughs> I would probably always use this with the drive first, but if your thing is experimental and weird and shit like that, then you know, flick the switch and see what happens. <laughs> 